Dancing shadows in the moonlight A fire flickers underneath my skin Hi producers, Top Music Arts here. In today's video we're gonna be talking about how to mix vocals. We'll be making a chain in an audio effect rack so you can save it as a preset and that way save some time on your next mix. Today we're gonna work on the lead vocal of a future upcoming template called Moonlight. Dancing shadows in the moonlight A fire flickers underneath my skin Dancing shadows in the moonlight Ignite the spark, baby, pull me in I know we all want that crisp right in your face sitting perfectly on the mixed lead vocals So now we'll be going through each step of the chain with the Live Dance native plugins We're gonna drop our first compressor straight onto our lead vocal track Let's start with the glue compressor, my favorite we're just gonna apply some modest compression here and a little makeup gain to bring it back up. Dancing shadows in the This may be too much for a vocal, but if you use it in conjunction with the processed version of it, it complements it. The way I'm gonna set this up as a parallel chain instead of just an insert is by hitting Ctrl or Command plus G, and then it turns into an effect rack. Then you just right click it and create another chain below it and call it Compressor 1. This just right. We can add different compressors and that way gain more tone. Since Ableton only have two, we just need to drag the other one down here and name it Comp2. We're gonna want to achieve the same kind of compression with both of them, but since they sound slightly different, each one will give us some extra tone. Dancing shadows Now to balance them all, we'll spread them a little bit off the center, maybe six or less. Dancing shadows in the moonlight, a fire flickers underneath my skin. Dancing shadows in the moonlight, ignite the spark, baby, pull me. These both are gonna get a bit loud, so we can pull them back a little. We can add an EQ to filter out the frequencies that we don't need. We can lock out them by going too far into the higher frequencies and then just reintroducing the bass until it sounds natural again. We add it outside the rack so we can adapt to each case. With all this battery processing, there may be some frequencies that just don't sound good, so we're going to pick those out. We pick our next band, make it really high cue, and then we're gonna be sweeping and listening for the frequencies ringing louder than the others. And when we find one, we dip it. Dancing shadows in the moonlight A fire flickers underneath my skin These are the overtones, and by ducking these unwanted frequencies, we can make room for the ones we want. In each case, it may be different. That's why we choose to do the EQ outside the chain. Next, we're gonna add some subtle effects, 
like the flanger, to get more going on the sides and get some stair spread. Delay time really thickens it up a lot, but we can just search for the right sound with this XY. Dancing shadows in the So you see, it's really filling out the outside, not really the center. For that, we are also adding a filter delay. We turn off the center and we adjust it so we have something different on each side. We're using it more like a slap echo effect. can add another subtle effect just to make it compete even less with the drag signal. Some modulation, like a phaser. And maybe add some overdrive distortion to compress the signal and at the same time add some dirt to it. Dancing shadows in the moon After panning and balancing all the other effects, we need to add some reverb. And to help the idea of loading the sides, not the center, we're gonna add two reverbs. One short, like a room reverb, and another longer, like a hole. At this point, the chain turns into something like an effect mixer, when we can adjust each and every one of them separately. We can also make automatizations. We don't have to use the same levels for the whole song. With some filtering and cutting on the decay time, we can go ahead and add some modulation, maybe a chorus, to keep the spread effect happening. For the long reverb, we're gonna use it almost like a delay. With the long decay time, the low filtered out, and maybe we can add some overdrive for some compression and tone. Dancing shadows in the moonlight A fire flickers underneath my skin Here's where you have to get creative. You can have so many different combinations here in each step and maybe in some songs a chain like this could be too much. So you need to hear your vocals out and see if they add something you need or it needs readjustment. Dancing shadows in the moonlight Ignite the spark, baby, pull me in The default preset works pretty much all the time for vocals. We make a little adjustment and that's it. Since we have that spread mix plan on the effects, we're gonna add some flanger for a better modulation and keeping it off the center. Dancing shadows in the moonlight Ignite the spark, baby, pull me in Dancing shadows in the moonlight A fire
Dancing shadows in the moonlight A fire flickers underneath my skin You hear how they don't compete with the vocal. They still add some spread, but the lyrics are just as easy to understand. And that's what we're looking for. The beauty of the template is that you now have all these effects kind of laid out, ready for you to record right into. And if you want, you can make another champ template for backing vocals with more painting and spread. Well, that's all for now. Give us a comment on which is your favorite effects. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thank you very much, and we see you on the next one. Dancing shadows in the moonlight The fire flickers underneath my skin Dancing shadows in the moonlight Ignite the spark, baby, pull me in Dancing shadows in the moonlight fire flickers underneath my skin Dancing shadows in Shadows in the moonlight A fire flickers underneath my skin